Hey everyone, this is Cal shooting my second YouTube video. Woohoo! Go me! So it's the second YouTube video, and so I was trying to think of what I wanted to talk about, and then it just clicked that I should talk about coming out. Uh, so I will not come out on YouTube. I am an FTM, and I came out as a lesbian last year, and I'm actually going to talk about that during the video because there's only one person who, well, there's three people who I talk to offline all the time who know that I am trans. So I'm going to talk about that uh, next video. This video is specifically about coming out as a lesbian because that's the main experience I've had. And so I'm going to talk about that. Which, I mean, trans I think is sometimes even more difficult because you have to explain it. But uh, we'll talk about that next time. I only have so much time, so I'm going to try and not make it too long and try to keep it good and try to cram about a month of work, about four months of worry and one month of actually coming out, um, into like ten minutes or less, so this is going to be fun. Here we go. You guys ready? Good. To start, I came out to my mom first, and she was very accepting and supportive. She was like, okay, you know, I, I kind of figured, you know, and we'll talk about more about my mom next time. Um, I kind of want to run over that briefly because I want to get to my other family members because I have a big family. Um, my dad was not so supportive. He was, at first, he was kind of like, okay, I'm disappointed in you, which is not something you want to hear from your father ever. Um, but I did, and our relationship has gotten a little bit better. Um, it's not where it was once, but... I didn't expect it to be, so we'll see how that goes in the coming years. My brother, might as well go through the immediate family first, right? My brother's very accepting. Um, he's, he's young, so he still has an open mind that hasn't really been messed with by outside influences. My mom is racist to be very accepting people, and um, he's been very accepting about it. He actually goes and he tells people off if they... Uh, school, if they say, oh, that's so gay, or they use fag to, to kind of degrade someone, and he's like, yes, yeah, so what's your point, and now he gets called gay, and he goes, and that's your insult, is I'm gay? That's not an insult, and I'm not. So, kudos to him for that, because I think standing up for people who are different than you is an amazing thing to do, and the fact that, you know, he's 13, and he's standing up for what he believes in is just amazing. So, kudos to him, and my mom, clearly my mom did an amazing job, um, raising us to be open-minded. My grandparents now, um, my dad's grand, my dad's parents, might as well get the hard stuff out of the way first, right? My dad's parents told me that, well, my grandmother sent me Bible verses after I came out to her. I came out to both of them at the same time. She sent me Bible verses at school about why I was going to hell, how being gay was a sin, etc., etc. Um, my grandfather told me that he knew college would mess up my head. Yeah. That's when I told him that I knew I was gay before college, and college really didn't mess up my head. It's actually made me more intelligent than him. <laughs> don't mess with me. Don't. Don't. Just don't. I'm sorry. You do not go after somebody who comes out to you and be like, I knew it messed up your head. I'm sorry. You don't do that. Seriously. Especially when I'm way more educated than you ever were. Um, I know. I'm a bitch sometimes, right? I'm just a bitchy bastard. Um, there you go, Ashley. I said bitchy bastard. Um, but yeah, that was them. Um, I sent my grandma a reply about how being gay is not a sin. I haven't heard from her since. Um, they, my grandma often tells my mom that she's very upset that I don't reply to them, and that I never, um, go over there anymore, and my mom's response has always been, well, maybe if you guys had been a little bit more open and accepting, and maybe there for her growing up, maybe she would still be here, and so she's kind of just slapped it back in their faces. They're my dad's parents, they're nuts. My mom's parents, on the other hand, were amazing and accepting and supportive and... They're just incredible people, and I love them for that. Um, it's an emotional video. 
Okay. My mom's family, my aunt, my other aunt, and my uncle, because there's the four children in the family, including my mom, um, all of them have been very supportive and accepting. My One of my aunts has three kids, and she, all of her children have been very good about it. They all have you know, gay people, well, except my niece, maybe. My, not my niece, my cousin. She, uh, I can't talk anymore. She's, uh, homeschooled, so I don't think she knows that many people in general, really, but, uh, she's pretty accepting. Her, her mom's doing a good job. Um, my uncle was really awesome about it. He said he'd always kind of figured my cousin, his daughter, asks a ton of questions about, like, relationships and stuff, so I help her out there, and she'd be like, hey, you know, how do I talk to my parents about being in a racial relationship, things like that, and she's, like, 14, and my, I, I help her out as much as I can based on, you know, the experiences I've gone through, and she, she likes to look at it as being gay is one of the toughest things you can ever tell your parents, so clearly, you're good at handling rough situations, and it's nice to hear that. Um, let's see, that's, the, my dad's family, his cousin, his, um, uncle, his, I can't talk at all, my uncle, his brother, um, I don't, I've never heard his response, or his wife's, um, my cousins have never really said anything other than, you know, thanks for telling us, which I did tell them both online, um, and I think they're okay with it, um, they still talk to me anyway, so I don't know if they're just pretending I'm not, or if they don't, care. I like to think they don't care, but who knows. Um, yeah. There's that. Um, I think that, that's pretty much everyone in the family. Um, I gotta say, though, the one thing that really got me through coming out was the people I know, my friends, and the queer group at school was amazing for just being there for me and supporting me and asking questions and being like, you know, How's it going? I mean, I, I told them in advance that I was going to come out to my family on fall break, and so when we got back from fall break, um, their first questions to me were how to go, and do you want to talk about it? So I was like, you know, my mom was awesome and stuff, and I got lots of hugs, and it just, it was a really good group, and I will always forever be thankful for, to them for that, because having that support group at school, knowing that I had them, really, really helped and it's still an emotional part. <sighs> this does not get any easier. The more and more takes I do of this just does not get easier. Um, so yeah, that's my story coming out. It sucks, but I, went, I thought, I think it's worth it because you really do see people's true colors when you come out because you figure out if they're going to be there for you no matter what. Because oftentimes in the minds of mainstream heterosexual America, they view gay as one thing, and then when it's in their own lives, it's completely different. And so to have people that are so open-minded around in me is just an amazing feeling, and I'm very thankful to them for that, so... <sighs> Alright. Next time I'm going to talk about being trans and come out to my family, well, some of my family, about that, so... I will see you all later, and Law & Order's on, so I'm going to go watch it. So thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing, guys. The people who have subscribed, I really appreciate it, because it makes me feel like I'm not just making these for myself, and that you guys really do enjoy it. So thanks for subscribing. Um, thanks to Ashley for letting me rant online when I need to, and, uh, you know... I'm just gonna kick your ass at Super Smash Brothers Melee, so watch out, honey. Um, and Nick, love you, man. Alright, so, talk to you all later. Thanks for watching. Oh, and comment. Please comment. I love comments. They make me happy, because there's nothing better than opening up my mail and seeing that I got a comment on my YouTube video. So comment, people, because comments make me happy, and they make me feel like I'm actually doing this for people other than me. And that you guys are appreciating what I'm saying. So thanks. Um, stay tuned for more videos from Calvin. And, uh, oh yeah, you can see Hobbs over there in the corner. He's just hanging out. Bye, guys.